previously on the dragon ship and brad pays it's pretty obvious that this exists i'm going to bring up the timeline because it does change in a woman's life cycle and it's been identified of course as corollary evidence but let's take a look at it and get your comments this is uh from the rational mail and let me present this right here bear with me as i bring up this window this should be fun you guys may have seen it before but we'll have a discussion on it here we go i hope you guys can see that maybe i can do a command zoom real quick and get that thing zoomed just a little bit more how are we doing there you seeing that i went the other way oh did not zoom yeah it zoomed away there okay. we go there we go all right here we go guys there we go now you can see it so this this is kind of shows beta which we will consider brad's today and we will show the, her preference for alpha in short term. We're talking about short term mating strategy, certainly leans towards the chads. I think we can all agree with that. Uh, um, absolutely. And I have to acknowledge somebody right now. Gentlemen, there is something that's coming up, and the war horn has been sounded by our long lost Viking son, Danny Arnold. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. You definitely support the whole thing and this whole operation we're going to see you guys live in las vegas next week um that will be pretty interesting show come and join the membership and we'll get even more for you than that appreciate that so much uh danny let's get back to this yeah, good job danny thank you yeah he is a strong supporter and uh he definitely contributes a great deal skull my friend yeah what a guy oh yeah so we, we we're gonna look at this and it starts at age 15 I mean, let's be honest, guys. I mean, I'm going to ruffle some serious fucking feathers. God bless the women. Honestly, they're sweetest little kids. Little girls are so damn smart. Like, they get smarter and more chatty real quick, better than boys. And lo and behold, puberty comes along. And the next thing, you turn around. And I have daughter. You turn around and you look and you got a woman standing there. Mm. And I know it says 15 here, but in some cases as low as 13 years old and something happens and um, they kind of stay like that for a really long time in adulthood. <laughs> they now have agency, at least because they are uh, fully fertile, even though at least technically capable of breeding woman. And mm. this changes things because now she can be taken care of. She can be desired. She's not a child anymore. You can't say that we'd like to, but technically and medically, there is a huge change. So we look at that and we're looking here at the short term. Hormones are raging. You got that going on. We're not going to talk about that age, but you know, you guys can all extrapolate, mm. especially you, Mark, with a, a, a young woman that fits yeah. this age frame. And you can attest to the fact that her girlfriends kind of stop emotionally right there and they start experiencing womanhood. True. Would that be fair to say? One hundred. Yes. And then just we we don't have to get into that because you know we're polite here, but we're still going to piss everybody off. It's going to go right up, and here's they're exploring the alpha option because nature is driving them to do that. The best possible genes uh, at a very short window, and then we get into social constructs, which is party years. What do we tell these young gals? You can do anything. You can do everything, and they can. And then we get them into colleges. And we get them educated with the social constructs here in their 20s. And we say, you go, girl. Don't settle down. Date them all. Get the bad guy. Get the uh, soft guy. Get yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, don't forget to add the sex fuel, man. Alcohol. Alcohol and call it. Alcohol. Yeah. It, it, yeah. It's an, it, it, you know, it definitely reduces inhibitions and gives plausible deniability. Oh, he, I was drunk. He was hot. <laughs> it, it allows for accountability to be shunted away yep i dropped a nickel and picked it up and it happened exactly <laughs> why are you looking i just have workout clothes that expose the most massive camel toe ever and you should not look <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> right anyway so we have fun with all this stuff but that's the party years it runs right through the most fertile moment in the peak sexual market value when we talk about agency we're talking about sexual agency here mm -hmm. this is where she is so fertile and she is universally attractive to men of every age every age and why is that true 
because because of our primary drives, that is the most likely target for us to move DNA forward into the future and create a legacy mm -hmm. successfully. And then we get into this age where there's an epiphany. She's getting older. Her agency has waned. She cannot compete with this younger self. In some cases, this younger self is peaking even back here in this section here. And now she's a little older, got some wrinkles, a little wear and tear. Things start happening Mileage. biologically, biologically in this epiphany phase. There's a transition. This is where we also say she starts to look at the beta long term because she needs provisioning because there's a phenomena that occurs. And this is really wild because I watch it happen with my daughter's friends as mm. they approach this. It's called baby rabies. One of them has one. Everybody goes and fawns over it. And the next thing you know is, I don't know if I want any, but boy, it'd be nice. You know, let me start looking for this guy if I don't already have one on lock. Mm -hmm. I'm you ready know? to start a family. Right. And uh, we'll get into other things, but that, that's kind of primary, and that kind of becomes a, a serious need. A lot of gals that can get a gun and lock and have a baby, this works fantastically, and now they have security. And if they, if they were on birth control and then they found this guy, went off, got pregnant, there is some indicators that would state that that's great. I have a family. By the time the kid weans, three to five years out, she has this security of this beta. But her body betrays her. She's a little older. Now she's got herself back in shape. Other men look. Alpha reinvestment, reinterest starts to occur. Here we are somewhere around age 37. I can't tell you how many clients that I have had to consult that are in this age, both men and women, that actually are affected by this and don't understand what is going on here. A lot of loss of attraction here. You can kind of speculate, is it, you know, the birth control? Is it that we got fat after we became a family? What's going on here? Could it be exposure to, you know, guys from our past? This is right about the time where you get, what, a 15-year high school reunion and uh, old people show up and express an interest or somebody finds you on Facebook and it, you know, yeah, that social media great. aspect. Yeah, they, they they run across those cocks on social media for sure. That's for well, here, sure. Here, here is the problem. You got the beta. Long term security is always present and always needed. But this part right here, and a lot of times, a lot of women I've run into, and I'm using personal experience here, guys. I am not broadcast ever. They really, you know, they re have a re interest in their sexuality at this point right here. This is a little burst. At, this is my theory only. There is a burst right here before they enter perimenopause. And that's kind of the last gas of that dying eight cylinder engine that's misfiring on four. <laughs> Just add the fuel in a rich mixture, right? And hit, that, and hit the accelerator to the floor. Yeah. Hit it to the finish line. You don't and, care and about so, the mileage. And what's the age range on that again? That's what, basically like 36? to 45 in that range. Yeah, yeah, somewhere in that range. Yeah, I'm going to step out and, and, and be a miscreant. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And then, of course, back after that, it looks like the evidence is pushing strongly back into the beta security side. I just, I wear all the good man. I need a man that just needs me and would take care of me. He, he, you know, he, he would do anything for me and worship the ground that I work on. I've lived such a life. I've carried all of this stuff for so long. This is something that I, I, I earned just by my mere existence. And I've heard this, and you can look at it on Facebook, too. You can always tell because all the memes that come out are focused on things such as that. You know, how dare a man not give me happiness after so many years? I mean, it's just meme after meme, you know. Uh, and I feel kind of bad because that's a tough place to be, you know, because that's by a dog and die alone era, you know, yep. for a lot of, lot of, lot of ladies now. If you have never been able to hook up and get that marriage or that, this is a very sad place to be. A lot of men will see this party years, and that's where, you know, you have all these experiences. You got alphas in your past, and they don't feel they can compete, nor do they want to when there is an, an endless supply of this down here. Women that have a stronger desire for short-term alpha, you're a bit older. Oh, and the women hate this, and even the media will downplay this, but this is the natural order of things nearly worldwide. Women seek men that are older, more established, and have primacy. That's because the security aspect is is very attractive to them, mm -hmm. uh, you know, and socially it is as well. So 
interesting that Rolo had come up with this so many years ago. It fits right in with the Chad Blaze and the Brad's pay. And uh, really, they're just looking for a guy that can actually jump between the two, seem to be the most successful. I think you got to have some compassion for the women because they've been brought up with this lie that they can do everything men can. They're just yeah. like men. And then what happens is they go out and party and sow their oats. That used to be just for men years ago. You didn't. They didn't tell women to do that. So they go out and sow their oats in their 20s. They hit about 30, and then they want to find a man. And they're not as – well, who is it? I won't say the two women's name, but two women on social media called men uh, predatorial that seek younger women. Although they were enjoying those older men at the time, now that they're older and 30 or 32, they consider those men predatorial. But And that's what happens. They get to a certain age, and they don't have the, uh, the opportunities they had in their younger years. But they bought into the little lie that they can do the same thing men can, and it's not true. Because a man, even 40, 50, 60, can still go out with girls in their 20s, should he... Make sure you get your own copy of Thor's Dominant Masculine Presence Lecture. This is an hour-long lecture that teaches extremely valuable yet simple techniques that will help you to improve your dominant masculine presence. You will learn how easy it is to begin building the foundation for your masculine presence and make yourself into a dominant masculine man who knows what he wants and isn't afraid to go after it. So what are you waiting for? Buy now and start your journey and start building that dominant masculine presence and become the man that you always wanted to be.